हेलो वेलकम बैक टू सॉल्व फॉर एक्स फ्रॉम द गिविन इक्वेशन व्हिच इज एक्स माइनस फोर होल्ड टू दी पावर फोर इज इक्वल टू एट्टी वन देन व्हाट इज द वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स नाउ सॉल्यूशन we see here the power of this equation is 4 so we get four roots from this equation now impiles x minus 4 whole to the power 4 this comes to left side will be minus 81 is equal to जीरो और दिस कैन बी रिटिन एज एक्स माइनस फोर होल स्क्वायर सेकेंड ब्रैकेट होल स्क्वायर माइनस एट्टी वन इज नाइन स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ इफ इट इज ए that it will be a square and if 9 is b then it is b square the formula is a minus b into a plus b so according to this formula it will be x minus 4 whole square माइनस बी माइनस बी इज नाइन इंटू ए एज एक्स माइनस फोर होल स्क्वायर प्लस बी बी इज नाइन इज इक्वल टू जीरो और therefore product of two items so according to zero product rule we can say x minus 4 whole square minus 9 is equal to zero or x minus 4 whole square Plus nine is equal to zero. This is case one. In case two, from this equation we get x minus four whole square is equal to this nine transfer to right side will be plus nine. Now take square root both sides. Take square roots both side. Then this square root and square cancel, so it will be x minus four is equal to plus minus root over nine is three square. So this square root and square cancel, or x. Minus four is equal to plus minus three, or x is equal to four plus minus three. Here we get two values of x. That is, x one is equal to four plus three is equal to seven, and x2 is equal to 4 minus 3 is equal to 1 we get two values from here now consider this equation this equation impiles x minus 4 whole square is equal to minus 9 Plus nine transpose to right side will be minus nine. Now, taking square root both sides, 
then this square root and this will cancel so it will be x minus 4 x minus 4 is equal to this will be root over 9 into minus 1 or x minus 4 is equal to this is plus minus plus minus root over 9 into root over minus 1 or x minus 4 is equal to plus minus root over 9 is 3 and minus root over minus 1 is iota by i imaginary number so next next step it will be x is equal to this 4 transfer to right side will be plus 4 and this is plus minus 3i so here also we get two values of x say x3 x3 is equal to so we take already x1 and x2 so x3 is equal to 4 plus 3i and x4 is equal to 4 minus 3i so finally we get four roots of this equation and that is x1 is equal to 7 x2 is equal to 1 x3 is equal to 4 plus 3i imaginary quantity x4 is equal to 4 minus 3i this also imaginary number so these fours are the roots of this equation and this is the final answer of this equation thank you for watching this video please like share comment also subscribe goodbye